I'm going to show you how to make a um, lazy loading image component. So I just have an empty React application running on Code Sandbox. Uh, okay, so I'm going to create for the components and uh, component name which I'm going to give is lmg dot six import. And uh, I have used a function component ng uh, just at this point there is no properties which simply returns uh, an HTML ng tag. So I'm gonna get all the arguments as properties and um, Uh, export export default default ng so okay so I'm missing out uh, so I'm going to this ng I can make it a little more uh, smart Give a uh, image just uh, of, of like some picture, some meaningful words. Uh, depends on how your application behaves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw this H2 tag in instead. I'm gonna add ng here. And I'm going to call this source image. So I need some image. I'm going to get something from splash.com. I got something. Okay, I got some cool image. And this is not what exactly I want to make. So I want to make a low quality image and uh, I want to pass it as. Uh, Initial loading stuff, and then I can have a high quality image which I can pass it as source or the size. Name. Then I can pass uh, maybe a fallback image. Uh, at this moment, I'm just confirming this, and of course, I need, I, I need uh, height and um, width. Why? Because if I'm having a very small uh, low quality image, it's really required to have uh, defined the height and width. So what I'm going to do is low quality image. I'm going to make the resolution 10 cos 10. So now when I go here, I'm just going to change construct drops directly here. Uh, I'm going to split this into so see. Okay, I have not taken SRC out. So now SRC and connect. Oops. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to pass the LQ here. So if I pass LQ over here, it's going to render to low quality image. So that's perfectly what we want. So instead, uh, but again, it has to load um, the actual image in the background. So what I can do is I can actually create a hook const. Um, I'm gonna call it URL. Uh, yeah, let's add a URL. So set URL. Um, it's gonna create a hook image state. Initially, what I want to set is I want to set the low quality image here. If the low quality image is not there, so I see, and if it is not there, I'll okay, this beginning room soon. So now, instead of SRC, what I can do is I can say that let it be URL. So initially, the same thing will happen, no magic happens. So 
And what I wanted to use is, uh, what I want to do is, in the background I have to load uh, the actual image. So I can have a use uh, effect stuff, a use effect hook, and I can have a function defined here. And I don't have any dependency. So here we go. So if if is always required. So if if you are is equal to local genes, because otherwise there's no mean of uh, fetching the actual image again, because it's already trying to load the actual image. This us and uh, then R is equal to R dot blob because I have to convert this into a blob. And right then mm, what I want to do is I want to do some processing on this particular blob because a blob is uh, you cannot directly pass a blob onto HTML or uh, image tag. So what I can do is I can convert into a V64 format. So um, you can pass it through a file reader for that. So const file reader file reader. Okay. Now what I'm gonna say is the file that on load. This is something which I'm gonna overload. So now um, on load um, what I wanted to do is uh, this will have the data in terms of this dot result okay so I can actually directly scan this okay. set URL now what I can do is fr dot read is uh, my reference right here because I always miss this. Now read data as you are okay, the blob which I got. So I'll be getting a blob over here. And this is the converted blob, and again it's got it passed on to this. So set you are this this and this so you good to go okay this dot uh, I'm gonna make it on to a new function over here okay so it's because of the arrow function it is not binding the actual context over here it is getting transferred so um, when I overloaded the onload this thing I, it actually had a um, data which I can directly pass it on to as a tag of the image. So now I have this stuff. So if you notice this is uh, actually cached image I cached stuff. So I'm gonna just save this uh, okay. Why don't you save? Why don't you save? I'm gonna make this uh, it's a slow 3z and uh, press and force refresh so that it loads everything from deleting the cache. So let's see how it behaves. Okay, that's too fast. Okay, you can see that for a fraction of seconds. So, uh, so it actually loaded the image. Uh, let me try if I have, if I can do something else. So let's say I have four thousand into two thousand. Then what is going to happen? So I got the uh, low quality image first and uh, if you notice the actual image is getting loaded over here since I have limited my internet speed it's 
section loading, 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 loading. Okay. So we made a little small component here um, to make the image loading easy. How to implement the loading image loading. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time.